Welcome to this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to install and configure the Antler parser generator. So let's get started. So here I have two URLs where you can download the Antler parser generator from. The first one is for the official website of Antler. As you know, Antler is written entirely in Java, which means that the Antler binary come as a .jar file. If you are familiar with the Java command line tools, then I encourage you to download Antler from here. Otherwise, I have packaged together a number of shell scripts that enable you to work with Antler. So this is the one that I will be using to download Antler from. So let's take this URL and open your favorite web browser and let's paste the URL there. And from here, go to clone or download, and then download zip. You can save this anywhere you want. I'll put it in the desktop. And then, once downloaded, just extract the file here. Let's rename this to something a little bit friendly. So I'll call this thing antler antler 4 okay next copy this folder and paste it where you want to install antler at in my case I'll put it in the D drive you can put it anywhere you want and let's see what's inside this uh, folder. So let's uh, look at it. So it contains three subfolders. The first one, which is uh, the lib subfolder, it contains the jar uh, file for the antler binaries. So all the antler classes are packaged in this single jar folder. The second folder, which is the bin folder, it contains the shell scripts that uh, enable you to work with Antler. So the first uh, shell script, Antler 4, uh, is the one that allows you to uh, compile the uh, grammar files. And uh, once you compile the grammar files, it generates a couple of Java files. You can compile these Java files using the compile uh, script. So uh, this compile scripts it uh, runs a Java C command, and that Java C command uh, compiles your uh, compiles your uh, your Java files that has been generated as a result of compiling uh, Antler grammars. And then the JRun script uh, runs the test rig for Antler. So if you want to test your uh, grammars, you can test them using uh, the test rig uh, tool, which can be run through the JRun command. The last folder is the sample folder. It contains a grammar which you can find uh, in the website of Antler. Uh, so this is a small grammar that recognizes mathematical expressions, simple mathematical expressions, and we'll take a look at this uh, later on. So once you have uh, saved this folder in the installation location, the next thing you want to do is to set up a few environment uh, variables. So let me take this path and then go to your environment variables. Uh, so I will uh, edit the environment. So use this one, edit environment variables for your account. If you have a system admin, you can use uh, the second option, which is edit uh, system environment variables. But uh, I prefer to use the, uh, you know, the uh, normal account environment variables rather than touching the system environment variables so once you are in the environment variables window create a new environment variable and we'll call this environment variable antler for underscore home and paste the location or the path where you have kept the antler folder and then click OK and then the next thing I want to add the uh, uh, those three shell scripts to the path environment variable. So select path, click edit, 
and once you are here create a new entry and use the following so percent antler for home just make sure that you spell it correctly antler for underscore home percent sign backslash and then pin and this adds those three uh, antler uh, shell scripts um, into the uh, to the uh, path environment variable and then click OK and then click OK so now we have antler installed and configured the last thing we want to do is just to test whether our installation is correct or not and for that open your uh, command line so go to your command line window and let's just go to the sample uh, sample folder so inside the sample folder so in my case I have to change to uh, the antler for and then to sample now <clears throat> in sample as I said I have one grammar file which is basically uh, a simple grammar for recognizing expressions uh, mathematical expressions now this is a text file you can open using any text editor and it's basically a grammar which recognizes simple expressions and uh, you can write expressions and these expressions are written uh, separated by new line and these in there are four operators recognized in these expressions these are multiplications division plus and a minus and you can only have integers in these expressions and you could have parentheses as well so you can close this file and let's go back to the command line now if you want to compile this uh, grammar file you use the antler script so use antler expression to g4 and once this command runs as you can see a number of files has been generated now I will talk about some of these files in the next tutorials but uh, this basically uh, tells you that your installation is correct so basically you are able to run the command line uh, or this antler command or this antler shell script correctly so uh, because you are able to run it correctly this means that all the configuration has been done correctly now if you want to uh, compile the uh, java uh, or let's say let's say that you want to test your grammar the first thing that you want to do is to compile the uh, you basically want to compile the parser which has been generated and in this case you want to compile all these uh, java files so basically your parser is contained in the expression par ex expression parser or expr parser to java this is basically your parser but for that you will need to compile all the other java files so what you need to do is you need to run write the compile command and then uh, expr star dot java and that's going to compile all the uh, java files and that's going to generate uh, the uh, uh, basically going to generate the uh, classes the class files uh, for you as you can see a number of class files has been uh, created as a result of compiling all those uh, as, as a result of compiling all the java files uh, now if you want to test the grammar to just see whether it is working correctly or not so as i said you use the jrun which is which runs the test rig so jrun expr and then the name of the grammar is prog and i want to uh, see the uh, the or i want to visualize the parse tree so use the uh, gui option and then hit enter now it's expecting you to write or you know type some math expression so we'll use uh, 101 times 33 minus 45 
and then hit enter and this is just the only expression that I want to test um, so once you're done from here just do control Z uh, control Z for end of input so control Z and hit enter and basically it shows you the uh, parse tree for your uh, for your grammar and uh, this basically says that you are uh, yeah that your grammar is um, you know that your grammar is working and it's recognizing the uh, input that you have gave it uh, now don't worry much about these uh, errors here because I've inserted spaces and the grammar right now is not capable of recognizing um, recognizing spaces between these operators so it's just for some reason it's not throwing this uh, this away so uh, that's it that's how you install uh, antler parser generator in the next video we will see how we can uh, write uh, a lexer uh, a simple lexer using antler so uh, happy learning